Hello, I'm going to very quickly show you how to use the new snippet files. Uh, I'm going to start creating a new file. And I'm going to say that this is an HTML file. Uh, and I'm just going to choose open. Uh, this file is going to be uh, uh, saved as my custom page. Uh, so let's actually save this as this time uh, into my location, which I want to work with, which is going to be down into Program Files, down into Sage, down into CRM, and down into my working install of CRM, uh, and then down where I would normally put my custom pages. So I'm going to call this uh, page my uh, oppo list .asp page. And we're going to set this up using a snippet uh, and within here my HTML snippets, the CRM snippets that I have, that I'll just write out with the custom page outline. Uh, and I confirm the name of the page and the include files that I want to use. Uh, tab over to the next item that I want to use and uh, this I'll call uh, oppo list code js so that file is going to that new file of oppo list code is going to contain the code that will have at the uh, the script that will actually create the output the next thing that I need to do is to create another new file uh, and this time uh, it'll be a web file of a jscript type so I can choose that uh, and this file I'm going to save as uh, and I'll call this upper list code.js uh, and I can start to write out the contents of my file. So my JScript snippets, so CRM snippets, ASP pages I'm writing you can see that uh, you can use the snippets for also creation of some client-side code and mail manager, manager scripts. And I use the include file structure there. Uh, and I can fill in the details of this file. So this is going to create a simple uh, version of the opportunity list in the CRM context. That's the my CRM context, uh, and so I can now use the other snippets to uh, allow me to add in the the code that I need to. So I can go into others into my CRM snippets, into ASP pages, and inside here I can retrieve the block. And the block that I want to get hold of is opportunity lists. Add in insert snippets. My CRM snippets again. My s my snippets within ASP pages, and uh, I need to get context. And it's the user context that I want to get. And so that's the correct information there. And I'll be build my argument string. Choose my argument, and I confirm the field names that I want to use for the at linking of the context with the underlying data. The last thing that I need to do is to insert my snippets that will allow me to uh, output. I choose my code and I run down and I find my way of writing out to the web, writing out the generating the HTML for the block. So I put that out and confirm the details of the variables that I'm using and that's it. So that's the page that I've written. I can save that uh, and now I can make reference to oppo list inside CRM so I can swing around uh, and log on into CRM as a system administrator go into customization area advanced customization change the system menu and I change my system menu the user menu which is the my CRM context and I can just call oppo list here which is the name of the file and I also want to call that very clearly oppo list.asp 
and I add that here, choose save, and we should see now if I come into the main context, into the main menu, and then switch across to oppo list, then here you can see there I have now uh, listing out of the opportunities. And so all that has taken a very short period of time to use the snippets in order to create a simple list page.